Hey guys, so I wanted to take you on this journey of me and I guess inheriting some over 100 year old folding cameras. It has a sick name too, so it's a Kodak. They're from Kodak from 19, around 1913. This is number 20. Folding cartridge primo. The hardest part is figuring out the film. And this took one 130 film. I don't even know what that was. It's, you know, certain width, certain length. The only film out there now that kind of works is 120. What I had to do was find spacers. So I found this guy online actually eBay. He makes these, uh, I won't even focus on it. I'll hold it back here. I'll get closer. And those fit right in your 120 film. Let's take the roll out of it. Found the easiest way to do this is to just do it outside of the cartridge holder because it was really hard to do it inside of it. Not getting it. <laughs> All right, let's be trying it. Still trying it. The film. Whoo! All right. We got we got some film in it. And I did a practice run and I advanced it. I kind of know where I need to get it, but I'm not going to do that until I'm ready to take some frames. So I'll put that footage in now and ho we'll see what we get, all right? Whew. Fingers crossed. I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. I don't know if the film is even flat on the exposure kind of, what do you call it? Exposure plane? Um, but we're gonna give it a go, just get, again, I like to shoot portraits, but we'll just shoot some, you know, environment and maybe, maybe Chloe will make this one again, okay? Alright, let's try it. Come back to my, my kind of destroyed ramp, see if I can get a shot with this. I don't know if you can see that. I made some notes to myself for advancing the film because this isn't standard 120 frames or you know six by seven six by nine uh, this is like a six by 13 exposure so time to get an exposure I know I got speed one or I so 400 film in here get a kind of a neutral tone at five six uh, white at eight four Maybe it's, maybe it's a five six. Okay, I took a shot. <laughs> I'm sure you'll see it on the screen. That's uh, I advanced film. I think it's at a good spot. Let's try to take a photo of Chloe. I'm really curious what six feet is gonna do to the focus where actual six feet needs to be measured from, the lens or the film. But I'm just eyeballing it, <laughs> so let's try it. Chloe, come here. Good girl. Turn around. Sit. Good girl. Stay. Stay. Parallax. There we go. Let's do one more. Good girl, Chloe. Get it. Sweet. We'll see how those turn out. Finished off the roll. It's a nice street shot, maybe. Again, I have no idea how this is gonna have, like turn out. But it's super interesting. Come on. 
super interesting to shoot a camera that's like almost a hundred years old. It's a trip. I don't know if I'm gonna shoot much with it, but it's fun to know that you can. That you can roll like 120 through here, figure out how far to advance the film, and you're gonna get something different. You know? So uh, let's develop this and see what we get. It's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Okay. Let's do it.